Hey guys, I'm Slicks77. I'm back with another episode of Infinite Heights. And because the last video was so short, I decided to do another one. Uh, another one's gonna be another short episode, but it is gonna be incredibly awesome because this is by one of our admins, Adrian, by one of our X mods, for one of our X mods, Drunk Slug, who hasn't come on anymore. He's finding Minecraft not to be as exciting as it used to be. And since he doesn't really build, collecting was his thing, and he's collected everything possible. He's run out of inspiration to want to play Minecraft, but we still talk to him on TeamSpeak every once in a while and play other games with him, so that's that's pretty fine. But, like usual, I have some music, and we're going to continue with the smooth jazz loft. And I don't need that, because I know exactly who built it. Adrian. So, I deleted some homes. Not, too, not as much as you can see, but, um, what is Home Dagger? Uh, let's go to Home Cave. This is going to be really cool. Whoop. Adrian made this. This is in, this is in the natural world. I'm not going to show you where it is, but this is a huge cave. Got some lights up over here. This is mainly because Drunk Slug is so interested in fishing. This is his fishing hole. And I think Disc made this one. Yep, Disc made this for Rose. Um, but pretty much it's all eggplant colors. You got the purple, you got the greens down here, you got the boat. But let's not just take it all one time. We'll do that in a different lighting setting. That's when it really kicks in. Let's check over here. You got the Eggplant symbolizing that this is a drunk slugs with the hidden glowstone. Don't know why that's that's hidden compared to all the torches. You got the workstation. Oh, you got the yin yang symbol. I didn't notice that before. Many furnaces and such. Lagging a little bit. I think Fraps does that. I don't know what. This is all protected region. Go. So basic workstation as you can see, then you got the bridge, which comes right over onto their boat, a gondola that goes through like the the waters of Italy. But look at this, you can what is that? Is that clay? I can't see. I think that's clay though. Can I tell? Yeah, that's clay. That's clay. I really love how that just barely sticks up out of the water and you got a nice purple green pattern. I thought that was really cool. I thought that was the light at first, but the light is what shows the clay. So you got the nice clutching pattern here of the half slabs and the stairs. And it works incredibly nicely together. As Adrian is an incredibly good builder, this is such a high level of building that I... I might be able to build a boat, maybe not this good, but I might be able to build a boat similar to this style. But it's, it's definitely not what Adrian's going to do. He's got definite different style than me, and I think is much better than mine. The SS Eggplant. But this is obviously not the shining jewel of the place. Oh, there's fire. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But the, yes, like I was saying, this is not the f shining jewel. That's not the lights are not. Even though this all works incredibly well in Moody, this obviously is the dragon. Now, I did a PC a while ago. Where I did like a Dungeons Dragons type theme. Adrian let me use this dragon head as his, and because it's not my design, I said during the judging that that dragon head is not of my design. So, as you can see, Adrian does incredible work. I would never be able to do this. I tried. I got so frustrated and angry that it just did not work. But as you can see, Adrian is able to easily manipulate these blocks into the pattern of the cool dragon and of the cool glass panes. Now, he actually pulled me and Drunk over for asking how we enjoy the glass panes and what the glass blocks and how they work now it was drunk slugs idea in agents to have the diff like a darker glass block 
and then the lighter version as part of the wings. It was my idea, however, to put the darker glass block along the, uh, the bone structure going through the wings. And I think that works incredibly nicely, and so did Adrian and Drunk Slug. So this is going to be easily my favorite thing Adrian has ever done. Because Dragons is my favorite part. And you got the little claw up here. Now, this is either a Chinese dragon or just a drake. And the reason why I say a Chinese dragon is because it long and slender but yet Chinese dragons don't have the wings they just fly on like I guess magical propulsion whenever I've seen any Chinese dragon in a movie or some such that's always the way it looks so I'm sorry if I get that wrong now the reason why I say this is a drake is because dragons even though they look like this dragons have the wings on on their back and some do have these talons right there, but dragons have feet, which this one does not. But a drake would be like a lesser cousin of a dragon, which has typically no front legs, only the back legs hold it up. Now this might be a water dragon. Water dragons are typically built differently, but I still believe that they have the front claws. But again, my Understanding a Chinese dragons and what they look like aren't very vast. Actually, I have no interest in Chinese dragons because of the fact it looks more like a snake than a dragon. But that one obviously looks more like a dragon. That's why it's interesting. Now, for the best part of this build, let's go over here. I'm not sure if it still counts as moody for you guys during the video or not. But here's on moody for if it is on brightening setting for you guys look at that that's beautiful and the cave actually doesn't expand the whole way so you can see part of the stars in the background which is incredibly exciting <laughs> exactly pickle he's not here to see this but that's what he'd be saying is he go ooh nice or oh my god let's take the walk up to the dragon oh my god that's so exciting I love this so much. Oh! Hey! Gotta jump up onto the gondola. Let's check it with bright settings on. So the dragon's obviously peering down on you, and this would be his fishing spot, Drunks. I didn't see all this much work get done to the gondola. I left partway through to work on my own stuff, but this boat is incredible. You put a lot more work into it than I last saw it. Oh, there's beacon down there too. I didn't see that before. I wonder why that's there. There's bats everywhere. It's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I certainly did. I'd still continue to come here once in a while to just check it out. And as always, if you enjoyed the music, please check it out in the description. I will have the link there for. Oh, look at this! I didn't even notice. You can only get that block in MC Edit. This is not that new andesite block. Yes, but please check down in the description for the music. I will continue this music in a different episode. And I will see you guys there.